Hello everyone, we're going back to basics once more with a nice easy drum song. It's Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. Now the reason I say this is an easy song to get started with is because there's only about three things that we need to know on the drums in order to play the whole entire song. To start with, there's just a little guitar intro, and then the drums come in playing a beat that just goes like this. So there are four hi-hats in each bar, and the kick drum plays on the first and third hi-hat, and the snare drum plays on the second and fourth hi-hat. I'll play it once more slowly. From there, we move into the verse, which has a four bar pattern that sounds like this. So you'll notice it's mostly exactly the same as that first beat we played, but in the second bar, there's one extra kick drum. Now it looks complicated because it's written as a triplet. Technically we would count that one and a uh, two. So we'd play on the one and the a uh, with the kick drum. But if you've listened to enough music in your life, you might just be able to get a feel for the swing that's going on right throughout this whole song. And then you could just think of it as kick, kick, snare, but with a little bit of swagger, just so it's a little bit looser and a little bit more funky sounding. Anyway, let me play those first four bars a little bit quicker, more to the tempo of the song. You might need to do a few repetitions and just practice a little to get it nice and smooth and up to that speed, but it's pretty simple, so hopefully you'll be able to tackle it. When we move on to the chorus, there's just a bit of a switcheroo. Instead of having those kick drums on the first beat of the second bar, we're going to put them on the third beat of the second bar, like this. So you can see that those two kick drums come in before the snare drum, but instead of being at the start of the bar, like in the verse, now they're halfway through the bar instead. The second half of the chorus just goes back to playing kick, snare, kick, snare, like the very start of the song. So that's the verse section taken care of, and the chorus section taken care of as well. In the guitar solo, we play over a verse section, and on the drums, that's exactly the same as every other verse we've done. When it moves into the chorus though, there's a couple of extra kick drums, so let me play that section for you slowly now. As you can see, just a couple of extra kick drums in the fifth and sixth bar. The one last thing that we should look at is the very end of the song. There's a tiny little fill on the snare drum, and this is how it goes. Since my left hand is already on the snare drum, I like to leave it there for the first snare hit, bring my right hand over for the second snare hit that's gonna line up with the kick drum, and then play a crash cymbal 
and a kick drum to finish the song. So there's just a couple of drum elements there in order to nail the whole entire song. So hopefully with a little tiny bit of practice, you'll be able to get them up to speed and eventually jam along to Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. I hope this lesson's been useful. And if you're just starting on your drumming journey, I hope you have a great time. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.